Hey, my wonderful primary children. I love you so much. And I'm so glad that I get to be with you today. I'm a little chilly, so I am wearing my comfy sweater. It makes me so happy and warm. Are you guys a little bit chilly too? The weather has been getting a little bit cooler, which is nice because it was super hot for a while. So I'm glad that we get some cooler weather. So today I'm going to share with you a little bit about what I've been reading and Come Follow Me this week. And there are a couple of songs that we're going to sing, which is going to be great. The first thing I'm going to start with is in the Book of Mormon in 3 Nephi chapter 27, and this is in verse 7. Now, the disciples at the time were wondering what should we call the church that Jesus founded. They didn't know what to call it, and so they were talking about it and not, not knowing what to do. And so Jesus came to them, and he visited them because they'd been pondering and speaking and praying about it. And this is what he said. Therefore, whatsoever ye shall do, ye shall do it in my name. Therefore, ye shall call the church in my name, and ye shall call upon the Father in my name, that he will bless the church for my sake. All right, so boys and girls, we learn here that we should call the church in Jesus' name. And what is the name of our church? His church, I apologize. Let's say that together. Are you ready? The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Let's say that again together. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Awesome. And I love that we get to share that name of the church because it has his name in it. It has Jesus Christ's name in it. That's the best. So let's go ahead and sing a song that I think you might know. Here we go. I belong to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I know who I am. I know God's plan. I'll follow him in faith. I believe in the Savior, Jesus Christ. I'll honor his name. I'll do what is right. I'll follow his light. His truth I will proclaim. What a fun thing that we get to do, that we get to share his gospel with other people all around the world and right here in our own community. I love that. So there's another thing that I read about in Come Follow Me this week while I was studying that I wanted to share with you. And this happens in 4th Nephi. At the beginning of 4th Nephi, the people are so righteous. Can you imagine what the world would be like? if Jesus had come to teach you and visit you in person. So for about 200 years, the people were super, super faithful. And then after 200 years, they started to struggle again. So first, people became prideful, prideful in riches. Okay, so they were like, ooh, I've got money. I'm gonna get all these great things. And I've got these great things and you can't have these great things because you don't have as much money as I do. And they started to divide. And that is called a class system. When you've got rich people all together, medium income people all together, lower people all together, and really only the rich people get to do anything like in leadership or whatever. Uh, they don't have a lot of opportunities for growth. People are very, very prideful. That is called the class system. And so that's what they had happening there is they were starting to divide over money. Who had more money? Who had more education? Who had more clothing? Who had more goods? Who had a better house? All those kinds of things are the things they were um, starting to separate with. So then people started to build new churches that were not the church of Jesus Christ. And they were starting to pick and choose the things that they wanted to obey and pick and choose the things they did not want to obey. And the disciples during this time were still there and they were still performing miracles. But the people started to harden their hearts. Remember the three disciples that say they decided they wanted to stay and help uh, pro um, proclaim the gospel? Those three were still there and they were still still sharing the gospel and still performing miracles, but the people's hearts were hardened and they would not listen. Then the people started to teach their children to not believe. And that's pretty sad when they started to teach their sweet little children that those things weren't true and they should hate people that believe them. Eventually, members of the church of Jesus Christ started to do those same things. They became prideful 
divisive, meaning they argued over things and just were like, well, we believe this way, we believe this way, we shouldn't like each other. And they started to be wicked. So they fell away from the spirit and they turned away entirely from the gospel until finally they stopped altogether believing the things that Jesus taught. Super, super sad, right? And so as I was reading that part of the story, I felt sad inside because I thought, I don't want that to happen to me. I don't want that to happen to my children or the world they're living in where we totally stop believing. So then I read something else. And we have, of course, presidents of the church, prophets that lead us in the latter days. And one of our prophets from years ago was President Ezra Taft Benson. And President Benson said these words. He said, let us choose to be humble. We can do it. I know we can. Isn't that awesome, boys and girls, that we can choose to be humble. We can choose to follow Jesus Christ. And so as I was thinking about that, I thought, well, what's a good song that goes with that? Well, it just so happens to be my favorite primary song goes well with that. And that song is, I'm trying to be like Jesus. So boys and girls, will you sing that song with me? Here we go. I'm trying to be like Jesus. I'm following in his ways. I'm trying to love as he did in all that I do and say. At times I am tempted to make a wrong choice. But I try to listen as the still small voice whispers, love one another as Jesus loves you. Try to show kindness in all that you do. Be gentle and loving in deed and in thought. For these are the things Jesus taught. I'm trying to love my neighbor. I'm learning to serve my friends. I watch for that day of gladness when Jesus will come again. I try to remember the lessons he taught then the Holy Spirit enters into my thoughts, saying, Love one another as Jesus loves you. Try to show kindness in all that you do. Be gentle and loving in deed and in thought, for these are the things Jesus taught. Boys and girls, I want you to know that I know that Jesus lives. I know that he loves you. And I know that as you do all that you can to follow him, to keep his commandments, that your testimony will remain strong, that you will not fall away. I know that we all make mistakes. I make mistakes. I know you make mistakes. And I know that Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ have provided us with a plan to help us overcome those things through the power of repentance. We can overcome those things that we do that are incorrect or wrong or misled or sad. And then we can follow him and continue to grow our testimonies. I love you. And I say these things with joy and with love. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.